Now, what's, so, the point, what's the point of a 700-page so-called independent flood inquiry report if it's not released? I mean, have you seen it? You should have been the first person to be shown it. Have you seen it? I, no, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, and I understand that I will see it very shortly. Now, and I keep saying it's our report. It yes, belongs it to is. our community. It came yes. from our experience. And what I've called for, because I made a submission, of course, to the independent flood inquiry and one to the Legislative Council. And I called mine rescue, rebuild, um, recovery, adapt and prepare. These are all the things that we need to do. Yes. We need to do them much better. We had systemic failure of government agencies, Absolutely. resilience just total, total, abject failure. And SES, I said they need to do a rethink about rescue. We need an overarching rescue board. So we need all those things to happen. Mm. And the other thing I said is housing. Housing, we we're in dire straits anyway with housing before the flood. And the New South Wales government has a housing strategy, but it doesn't have one target in. It's called Housing 2041, but That's there's not saying. one target. Yes. See, I know. Janelle, How we're, we're talking... What, what, gets me, what, what gets me is you and I are talking now and, I mean, I trust the room you're in there is quite warm. I'm in the room here. There's a bit of air conditioning outside. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to go back to my point. There are thousands of people tonight without a roof over their heads. There's some, some of them sleeping in rooms. They've got walls on either side of them, no roof. So if it rains, they're gone. If it's freezing, they're gone. They're sleeping in other people's clothes. They're sleeping in tents. How on earth can this happen when it's three billion that's needed to recover from the floods? The Lismore City Council hasn't got that kind of money. And I read the state budget. No. There's plenty of room for the state government to afford three billion dollars. Now, the Premier's accepted, uh, committed to accepting all the recommendations from the inquiry, but it doesn't yes. help if we don't know what they are, does it? No, it doesn't help, but I had faith in uh, the commissioners, Mary O'Kane and Mick Fuller. I did have faith in their ability yep. to do the report I would too, that yep. was needed. Yep, and I made that very public, encouraged everyone to join in, and I was the one who drove and said to the Premier, you must accept the recommendations sight unseen to give us uh, hope, faith and confidence that something will happen. Mm -hmm. I've also said we need an implementation um, mechanism, not another agency, but something within premiers or somewhere like that that reports to us with timelines and tells us how it's going. Because you think of all the reports that have been done on floods, on all sorts of things, and we really don't get a report back. So I understand that that will happen. Yeah. But with housing, look, so many needs. Housing's still the big one. 